Where do you come from? Kenya. Kenya. Oh. How are you? Oh, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Jesus. The family foundation that brought this plague to her son. The battle over the soul of her son be broken today in the name of Jesus. From the royal lineage that you hail from, whatever throne is fighting over the soul of your son, be broken now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Stop your tears. The Lord has heard your cry. And it is settled. In the powerful name of Jesus. Oh, you yum, journey from Kenya to Ghana will not be in vain. In the name of Jesus. You are going back with a testimony. Thank you, Father. Papa, this is the son of our dear mother. One month after his 18th birthday, one month, yes, man of God, he had a severe convulsion attack. And since then, he's now 24. He had been plagued with that condition, with several hospital admissions. There are times they have to put him on oxygen to save his life. And that is the issue that brought them all the way from Kenya to this place to seek mercy from the hand of your God to deliver this brother. That's your son. That's my son. Yes, Dad. What's his name? Leon Washira Gaita. Come again. Leon Washira Gaita. Leon. Yes. I see. Leon, how are you? I'm all right. You're right. Yeah, yeah. Has your son ever told you? That a month before the eighteenth birthday. He woke up from sleep and realized that his bed had been soaked with water, not with sweat. He slept, the place was dry. He woke up and the place was wet, as if he had sweat, but there was no sweat on him. And the bed was wet with water. I can't recall that because the medication a month before your 18th birthday. No, I can't recall that. Then, a week after the 18th birthday, you started suffering heat sensations under your feet. Yes, I did. Two weeks after the 18th birthday, yes, you started to experience crawling ants from your feet as if they were crawling you. When you are standing in the midst of ants, that they begin to crawl up you. Two weeks afterwards. You had the feeling, sort of. You had that feeling, sort of. Yeah, I kind of had the feeling, sort of. Then finally, yes. the very first day, you had the attack. You were then, all you heard was loud bells, as if somebody was sounding this bang like a loud noise in your ear i was sitting over there the day there was a day i had just decided let me mom had decided she doesn't want to go to work and i decided let me just not go to school today so i was just like okay let me just do my i told the teacher let me just do my work at home so yeah 
she decided also her let no let me not go to work then <laughs> that's when it started he started convulsing when i was with him when you were with him did you realize that he was shaking his head as if to say somebody was talking to him and he was saying no no and he was taking his hand to his ears and his face had been shrunk pulled to one shrunk yes yes and he had lost the ability when he recovered for about an hour he couldn't talk he could not talk for a very long time come to me when you don't Usually when you dream you will see servants attending to you. Talk to me. Yes, I do. I laugh at night. I talk. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. I see. You'll be fine. Thank you, God. You'll be fine. Amen. Jesus. Whatever you have placed on his legs that climbs up to his face. I break that power in the name of Jesus. Breathe in. Amen. Deeply. Bring it out. Breathe in again. Pull it out. For the last time, breathe in. Yes. 
Yes. Completed, perfected in the name of Jesus. Your son is free forever. Hallelujah. When he gets up, he will tell you he felt the power of God like energy going through the back of his neck, through his spine. That evil being. That royal spirit has been conquered by the majesty of God on high. Amen. 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 Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Bow before your throne. Worship Leave him. It's aching. Just a bit. Just a bit. Yeah. The bottom, the bottom part. The bottom part of your spine. Yeah, just. Don't worry. Hold this. Leave it for me. was where the problem was. Yes. It has been removed. Thank you, Jesus. Oh. 
See how it feels now. <laughs> Where is it? It's, it's okay. Loud? I'm okay now. You're okay now. That's Thank it. you, Jesus. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Are you happy you came here? I really appreciate it. She what? She forced me. I I, I refused. I refused. I refused. But then. She forced you to come to Ghana. No, she didn't force me. I refused and everything. Then I, uh, you know, I just, just, I was smoking and everything, and I'd given up completely. I just said, oh, screw it. I'm like, I'm done. If this thing doesn't work, forget it. Forget it. I'm just going back to smoking and all that, and I'm done with this, with this bullshit and everything. So I was just like, if this thing doesn't work, Dad, fuck it. But forget my language, guys. So forget my language. I'm really sorry. So yeah, I just said, yeah, I'm done. So yeah, it's if I tell Dad, it's tonight. <laughs> well, I don't know how he, I don't know how he's going to react. Jesus. Your son says he entered into a pact with whatever your God is, that if your God doesn't move tonight, he's hitting the road. He said, that's what he He's hitting said. the streets. He's going to have nothing to do with God again. He had said he can't understand why God did this to him. Why God did this to him? Yeah. It's not God, it's the devil. I used to hate, I actually hated God. After this thing happened, I was, I was you know, I saw my friends on Instagram, Snapchat and everything going out at night and all that. And I was like, why did this thing happen to me and everything? I was like, why out of all of the people in the world? Why me? Why did you, why did you, why did God choose me? I'm like, God, honestly, you, uh, you're just an asshole. It is in God. It is God who touched you today. It is the devil that wanted to steal your joy. But my God, the God of your mother, <laughs> restored you today. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. How do you feel inside of you? I'm happy. I'm happy that mom is happy very much. Right now she's, I mean, she's crying actually. She's, she looks like she, when she gets back to the hotel and everything, she's going to, I don't even know what she's going to do. But I'm so happy she's happy and everything's back to going to back to life. And yeah. Go to your mom. <laughs> Beautiful. What church of God celebrate Jesus? Man of God, we are truly in the days of power. Glory to God. Man of God, what is happening here cannot be the hand of a man. It no. can only be the gracious, mighty hand of God lifted in this place. Man of God, so can a young man who for four years has never felt pains in his arm suddenly begin to have painful sensation in his arms after meeting a man of God. For this four years, a better club offering. For four years, four years, man of God, he went into coma. He went into coma. Man of God, he was put on a life support. If you look at his neck, there's a, a scar there. They had to intubate through his trachea. We call it tracheal stomach. The convulsions became so severe, the brain became so paralyzed. They had to cut through the throat and inject tubes in, insert tubes so he could breathe. For two months, he was lying on the bed in coma. In coma? Yes, man of God. Man of God, even in coma, like the mother narrates, and with all the medications, he was still convulsing. Man of God, when he managed to get up out of the coma, he lost all memory. He lost his memory. He had what we call retrograde amnesia. 
or you bring people before him, you have to tutor him and remind him of the people. Man of God, so much changed. Maybe he will tell his own story. But what happened today? He's totally in shock. Leon here is surprised what is happening now. Why? He said, I never believed these things. He, never he said, I thought people were paid to act. I didn't believe in the fall under the power. God forbid. Do you know why? Let me tell you something. Do you know why? When I was a minister to him, the Lord said, this guy doesn't believe in falling under the power. Yes, man of God, that don't, is very true. Don't push him. Just touch him. So if you realize, I touch him lightly at the least of touch and least of resistance. Then God said, just keep him there. He'll go down by himself. He'll wake up knowing that there's power in this place. Praise God. <laughs> Jehovah, don't do me something no. It is a marvelous thing, no. Jehovah, don't do me something, no. Oh, oh, oh. it is a marvelous thing, no. Man of God, this situation, as the man narrates, they have gone everywhere. They have gone everywhere. And according to her, the son never agreed to follow him to any church, except when he said, we are coming to CCI. Jesus. Man of God, this condition has taken them to Israel. Israel. Yes, man of God. For medical attention. Mercy. They traveled to Israel to one of the top hospitals. They did every CT scan. Did every EEG. The doctor said they can't find what is wrong with the guy. Man of God, they had to come back to Kenya and still be on medications. He said a prophet came from Ghana to Kenya. Jesus. And spoke to them about you. Jesus. The mom said he went on YouTube, went on internet to search about you. And he was convinced that the power of God at work on this mountain is genuine. She traveled all the way to this place. All the way from, from Kenya, Kenya. To this place. And see what God has done. Let me, okay, do you have something fair? That Man of God. This brother would hardly smile. He will not smile. Man of God, he won't smile. As the mother narrates, they were having verbal exchanges. Always. When he came to the service, he would smile to nobody. He was angry about what was happening to him. Man of God, when you came to start the healing miracle line, he said he's leaving. He was the angry. The mom said the here. The spirit behind it knew that the hour has come. The mom said here, we don't leave. We don't leave here. Yes. And what is happening now, man of God, he said he's totally shocked. Jesus. And now he knows that there's a living God. Jesus. Who knows the situation. Jesus. And I stepped into the matter. Jesus. And I turned his life around. Jesus. Man of God, things went so bad. Man of God, before this condition, he was a splendid instrumentalist. Played splendid the drums, instrumentalist. Played the drums, played the trumpets. No, man of God, after the condition, he lost all the skill. He lost all the skill. Yes. He couldn't play anything. Maybe he can tell his own story. Let, let me talk to the mother. We're going to do something here right now. You would see the power of God. I love things like that. You talk to me. Talk to me. Yes, man of God. Let me take you back. Maybe briefly. I will sit and wait. Yes. On 18th of February 2017. 2017? 2017. He had just turned 18 years old. 18 years. Yes. It was on a Wednesday. And we were having breakfast with him. And he told me, Mom, I'm feeling funny. I don't know. I can't describe it. And I remember saying I wasn't going to work to find out whether he was unwell and to organize to go and see a doctor. But that was never to be because it struck 11 o'clock in the morning. And he went into it. The, in medically, they call it status epilepticus where after one seizure another one another comes, follows another, another follows. one comes it just comes in trickles from nowhere nowhere absolutely nowhere and we were hospitalized there's a there's a good hospital in nairobi called the nairobi hospital we were there for seven days and by the seventh day he had lost one kidney one kidney was gone. One kidney was gone because they had pumped him with all kinds of medication. 
And I remember them calling us and telling us they were defeated. We should look for another hospital. By then... Oh, Jesus. Yes. By then, he had lost memory of even his name. His own name? He couldn't recall anybody. Even my girlfriend. Let me hear you. Even your what? My own girlfriend. Your own girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> If you can't remember your girlfriend, you then you've really lost memory. Oh, well, let's <laughs> talk. Allow him to talk. He said, even my girlfriend. So, um, they discharged us from that hospital. All right. He, because they were scared he was going to die. They thought he was going to die. Yes. So, they, uh, um, they discharged us and we had to go to another hospital. And that's when... He was put, he was intubated for two months. Two months? Two months he was in a coma. Coma for two months? Two months. If you come out of coma after two months, you are a vegetable. And he couldn't recall anything. He couldn't, he could only remember me because I used to talk to him when he was in the coma and I would be praying. He couldn't recall even his father. And then, then now, dad, when I came out of the coma, my girlfriend came to the house. Then my dad was like, who is this? No, I asked him, who's this? Then my dad is like, your girlfriend. I'm like, no, this is not her. Then now I, I start, I was like, ah, no, 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 get out of the house. Ah, I don't know you. No, 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 get out, get out, get out. So we started having a fight and all that and all that and... How do you feel now? How do you feel now? I'm, I'm okay, I'm okay. But even my dad, you know, I... Started, you know, when I had my nerves, I, I couldn't, feel, I couldn't feel my nerves. You couldn't have felt your nerves. No, no, no. Like, not even your legs. Not even my legs. When None was, of your legs. You couldn't have felt it. No, even when I was playing golf. And all In that. fact, he's got uh, scars here. There's a time he was trying to commit suicide because he was so frustrated. I was, I was depressed. I got. You were so, depressed and you wanted to commit suicide. Here, here, here. And he, he was cutting himself and he couldn't He was it. cutting himself? Yes. Yeah, I can see those knife marks over there. Yes. So he cut himself into the nerves. And he wasn't feeling anything. anything. Yes. But today, we touched him like this and he was like, ouch. <laughs> <laughs> Only you can do what no man can do.
to Israel yet it was the same the mother said we would go to Ghana and see the man of God they came back and see what God has done would you want to try your hands on the keyboard then, then he, he was playing what yes then he was playing a uh, keyboard keyboard and the trumpet and the trumpet yes but um, would you want to try your hands on the keyboard? Yes, why not? <laughs> Do you no, want to? No, no, it will just sound like noise. It will sound like noise it'll, to it'll you. It will just sound like noise to everyone, to be honest. It will sound like noise to everyone. No, let's try, just try. We want to hear your noise. Yeah, just try. <laughs> go to the keyboard. <laughs> just go play something. Yeah, no play whatever. <laughs> play whatever. Okay, sit down. I'll sing, then you play. Give me a key, just strike it. Okay, let's go. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. <laughs> it feels like you want to go back and play something more. <laughs> but the thing is there. So how long has it been since he sat by the keyboard to play something? He tried but uh, when he realized he couldn't remember anything he couldn't remember anything we just packed them away but today what do you think of what you just played was it nice yes it was nice absolutely do you like what you played <laughs> it was noise <laughs> <laughs> it, wasn't. it wasn't it was great yeah. what do you think it was great yeah master Restore every ability of this young man. The ability to play golf. The ability to play all the instruments. And I pray for him that you would make him a multi-millionaire. A 
I'm not talking about Kenyan currency. Lord, I'm asking that in dollars and in pounds, make him a multi-millionaire. Let jobs and opportunities open for him. And by him, let the work of CCI thrive in Kenya. In the powerful name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Yeah. God bless you. I love you so much, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you guys so much. And love you all.